So this is my top five Cafe Racer videos on YouTube. Now there are plenty of other platforms around with brilliantly produced Cafe Racer videos, but I thought for this video I'd just stick it to YouTube. YouTube as a platform is brilliant. There's stuff for inspiration, especially to do with bikes. There's If you get stuck, there are tutorials to help you. So for the purpose of this, these five videos are strictly on YouTube. So I've always been into motorbikes, mostly motocross, but there was this one particular video that caught my attention about cafe racers and ever since then I was hooked and with it, the whole cafe racers scene exploding as it is at the moment you've got all sorts of events, you've got the Distinguished Gentleman Ride, you've even got cafes like the Bike Shed or Ace Cafe in, in London which celebrate all these different bills which and the whole movement is brilliant so I thought why not create my own top five so that people can find these videos if they don't know about them already, be influenced and hopefully you know, more people will be interested and there will be more fantastic builds out there. So I'll put links below uh, through to all these videos so you can view them at your own time. So I'm only going to show snippets, but if anyone else has their own Cafe Racer videos that inspires them or something that they keep on going back to them, please post it below here and it'll be amazing to see these videos. Perhaps I haven't seen them myself and it's just, just a great way to just share what, what you've seen around. So video one is Iron Resin at the Cafe Racer UK. Now this is by the Cafe Racer channel. What's brilliant about this video to me is the whole crossover of passion. So you've got the whole Cafe Racer scene and you've got the surfing scene as well. And they go hand in hand almost together. It's, it's the same with what I do. I'm a designer and that sort of goes hand in hand with creating your own bike, building it and creating something that's individual to yourself. And, You've got other interests such as music, which is exactly the same principles. As well as that, you've got the soundtrack. So the soundtrack's brilliant, and you've got the sense of freedom and lifestyle. And trying. it's not all about hipsters with the beers and the quiffs and the glasses and everything. It's it's about the the culture and the lifestyle. It's about creating something that's individual to yourself, and then riding and then having that sense of freedom to go where you want to. So number two is Vintage Style Cafe Racers, and this is by Motor Ranch Channel. Uh, as a cafe racer builder, whenever people see your bikes, they tend to ask, well, why is it called a, a cafe racer? Why is it called a, a cafe? Definitely check out this video. It's all about how it all originated. It was about these uh, bikers back in the 60s and 70s. They were racing, or even 50s even. They were racing from cafe to cafe, and they had to get there by a certain time before a song on a jukebox either started playing or finished. Um, and so that was it. It was racing from cafe to cafe, and the way to achieve those speeds was by stripping your bike off, making it as light as possible, and then talking the engine up. Number three is Riding September. So Iron and Air, if you don't know, is an affiliation of Dime City Cycles in Orlando. If you haven't found them yet, check out their website. It's got all sorts of parts for your bike, gear that you need. Really helpful, so go on that. Now this features the Blitz Motorcycle guys, the people that got me into cafe races to begin with. It's showing that collective, that um, bringing together of minds, people of the same passion, building bikes. Now these Blitz guys are brilliant. They're based in France. The kind of bikes they build and their ethos of building as well is, is is definitely one that you can take note from. They don't want to create bikes that look new. They want to take all these bits together and throw bikes together that you might at first impressions think of. Oh, doesn't look too great. But then when you start looking into it, when you start looking into the detail, you can see that Everything in particular, there's a lot of thought behind it. So they might have a, a rusty, uh, a rusty gas tank, um, but then they would have perfectly braided hoses on it. So check them out. Pull over, count the money, but don't count the thirty in the glove box, buddy. That's video number four. Isn't really your um, nicely produced cafe racer videos. Now there are loads of those on here. 
amazing videos and cinematography are brilliant. This is more just showing what's out there. So this is uh, Throttle Rockle 2013 um, by the Sydney Cafe Racers. It's just going around an event, a cafe racer event. Now the reason I put this video into the top five is mostly to show the whole variety of bikes there are. Or if you're unsure of what kind of bike you want to build, then this is definitely the video for you. It, it shows a whole variety of bikes from Brat style to cafe racers uh, to bobbers. So it might influence you in a way to, to decide what colour scheme you want, what seat, what tank style. Definitely worth checking this one out. Video number five has to be Long Live the Kings by Blitz Motorcycles. Now this is the video for me, this is the video that got me into it first of all. If you listen to the narrative of this video, they explain how it's a group of friends coming together, riding first thing in the morning till last thing at night um, in the hope that they'll get lost like in these films. The reality of it is that they'll never get lost, they'll, you know, they'll always have a family to go back to, but it's that sense of adventure, it's the sense of jumping on a bike that you've created yourself and just exploring, just enjoying that time you have with people the same passions of you. So before I go, I'm going to throw in a sixth video as well. Now this isn't technically cafe races, so it's, I've not included in the top five. But this is a, a video about a Porsche builder called Magnus Walker. If you haven't seen him yet, check him out. He's the most non-Porsche person you'd imagine if that makes sense. His ethos on, on how he builds his cars and how he lives his life goes hand in hand with the whole cafe racer movement I think. Um, it's all about creating that sense of individuality and what he does to his Porsche might be frowned upon by some uh, purists out there but the reason he does it is he's putting his own stamp onto it so have a look at this video it's a half an hour documentary it's definitely worth sitting down with a cup of tea and taking it all in and hopefully that might inspire you even more. So that's it, my top five list. Please put your comments below if you have any videos that you think should have been in this top five, or even if you want to put your own top five yourself, then please put it below. If you like these, then please subscribe. There'll be another video on next week. Uh, I've got the workshop getting underway now, so I've got a nicer place to, to build my bike and to, uh, to blog about it, really. So uh, until next time, bye-bye.